Good afternoon. Welcome. My name is Rebecca Matheny. I'm the executive director of the Louisville Downtown Partnership. Excited to have you all with us today on um, our as we roll out our downtown digital kiosks. We've been waiting for this day for a long time and very excited to have it happening. I'd like to thank Chris Siminski and Heinz Management for working with us as great partners, as have our other downtown businesses. Um, this is the first of n an initial wave of nine kiosks. We eventually hope to have 100 to 150 within all of downtown, so we'll be rolling these out fast and furious. Um, it is really, throughout the urban core, we want to see this brings a lot of things that we have really wanted in downtown. It's, uh, they're Wi-Fi hotspots. Um, they are also uh, public service. Uh, the camera enabled, so a lot of things that we have really wanted in downtown, this great product brings in one place, in addition to great wayfinding and terrific uh, help identifying restaurants, directions, and all kinds of metro resources. I want to thank my team, the Louisville Downtown Partnership team, who's worked on this tirelessly and done a great job. Um, also want to thank our partners with Metro. Um, the Mayor's Office has been terrific in their communications division. Metro Safe has been wonderful to work with. I want to thank in particular Allie Andrews and the rest of the folks at Public Works who have really uh, jumped through all kinds of hoops with us on this. And also the uh, innovation team and Grace Simmerall who really helped get this ball rolling. I also wanted to recognize my board. Kevin Smith is my board chair. Happy to have him. And Ed Glasscock um, is here as well today, who also really helped spearhead getting this project done. One of the most exciting things for me about this is our ability to work with Louisville Public Media, which is just such an asset for our community. And I'm going to introduce Stephen George. They're providing a lot of the content, and we're really pleased to have them as partners on this project. Thank you all for uh, being here on this beautiful day. It's been a long, hard winter for us here in Louisville, all the way up until just a few days ago. Uh, my name is Stephen George. I'm interim president at Louisville Public Media. And um, I'm so excited for this f for a variety of reasons. One, we get to work with really cool partners. Smart City Media has been amazing to work with Mike and Tom there, uh, as well as their team, Louisville Downtown Partnership, Rebecca and her team. I want to thank them uh, particularly for bringing us into the fold. Um, part, a key part of our mission at Louisville Public Media is to bring people together around the things that they share in common. And we do that through Do 502, which is our events platform and local events service uh, that we provide. When you go to one of these kiosks and you want to know what's happening around town and around you, you hit the, uh, the L-shaped thing there. That's our logo. Uh, and you'll be taken to our, our event stream. It's curated by uh, the best in the business, as far as I'm concerned, our team at Louisville Public Media. Uh, and we're just happy to be a part of this. I think this is going to be an amazing uh, innovation for the downtown space, for people who live and work down here, and for people who come through uh, visiting. So uh, honestly, on behalf of Louisville Public Media, I'm just proud to be a part of that. I wanted to say thanks again to Smart City Media, to Louisville Downtown Partnership, and to all the partners here. Thanks. Um, next, I'd like to introduce uh, the councilwoman for our district, District 4. Everybody get used to doing that. It's always this beautiful in District 4. Um, so I would like to introduce our, our wonderful partner and friend, Barbara Sexton-Smith. Yes, thank you, Rebecca. And as we love to say, as your councilwoman, welcome to District 4. In District 4, we have a theme and a vision, and we believe that together we create a great connected community. And I've lived in uh, downtown Louisville for more than 18 years. I've worked in downtown Louisville for more than 30 years. And I spend all of my time block by block answering questions to folks. Where can we go? Where can we get something great to eat? Where can we go see the arts? Where's the park? Where's the river? Where's the parking garage? Well, it's right here. Thanks to our friends who partnered with us in City Post, you now are going to be able to stop, touch the screen, not only find great things to do, but you're going to get to connect with directions. You can even email from this, I've been told. Yes, Ed, thank you for that. We appreciate it very much. And so, yes, I'll be standing out in the streets talking with you as you come by, and I'll be willing to share great ideas of great things to do right in the heart of the Bourbon District, where the world meets Kentucky. So welcome to District 4. Thank you, Barbara. Um, next, I'd like to introduce Metro Council President David James, who we are very pleased to have with us here today. 
Well, hello, everybody, and welcome uh, to Barbara's District. And uh, I, I didn't know that we would ever be able to do this, but in a way, we recreated Barbara and put her in a box because I've seen her stopping people and people stopping her and her telling them where they can go to do this and do that. And so to be able to have these all over our city really raises the level of our city so that people, when they come and visit Louisville, uh, this will be one of the things they think about. And so with this public-private partnership, we have really set the bar really high for everyone else around us. And so I'm just very grateful for Mayor Fisher for his vision and for all the partners that have worked together today in order to make this day possible. And I'm looking forward to seeing more of our city posts all over the place. Thank you. Yeah. When I talk about our mayor to other downtown organizations, they're always very jealous because I don't think there's a mayor really in the United States with a strong commitment in a unique bag of communication, um, innovation, and technology. Uh, we really are a cutting edge community with that and I really want to thank Mayor Greg Fisher for that and let him come up and talk. Thanks Rebecca and welcome everybody uh, for coming out here today on this fantastic announcement. You know, one of the things that we want to do as a city is to embrace as many innovative things as, uh, as possible. Because we know to grow as a city, you've got to be inclusive, you've got to be global, and you've got to be innovative. And that's all happening here. And when you think about innovation, that's one of the reasons why we worked with Google Fiber for really five years to become one of the few cities in America that they're rolling out into so that we could have low-cost, gigabit-speed internet in our city. It's also why we partnered with the Air Louisville project where we could crowdsource that data through the web, through rescue inhalers, so we could have valuable data on how we can improve the quality of air in our city. It's also why we launched Code Louisville, which has become the nation's most successful free open source coding program. We just graduated 185 folks, more folks out of that last month. That's our largest yet as well. So we just see uh, when used properly, technology just really improves the quality of life here in our city in so many ways. And that's why today's announcement fits with all of the innovation work that we've got going on in our city. City Post has been working hard with the cities across Amer America and the mayors across America and promising that they are the best and the richest in terms of content that they have here. And you can really see that if you go up and use the kiosk. So it's all about convenience and letting people know all the wonderful things that we've got going on in our city and the kiosks really make that easier for folks because we want them to appreciate everything that we've got going on in our city which there's a tremendous amount happening in louisville right now uh, we can hear it we can see it uh, 13 billion dollars in new construction going on in louisville right now so we're going through a renaissance like anything we haven't seen before so there's a lot of new information out there that people need to have and this will help them get all that information. This, rena this renaissance we're going through is happening all around the city as well. Just in the past couple of weeks from the Passport new headquarters at 18th and Broadway, the Colonial Gardens in South Louisville, uh, what we've got going on here, are just a few examples, new regional libraries, it's on and on. So it's good. Downtown. Uh, the Omni opened up last week, $300 million project. The Marriott with their huge new renovation going on. Tomorrow will be another big announcement about downtown that everybody's going to like to hear. And then this is a $200 million project right behind us right here. So imagine when this opens on August 1st, you know, we're going to have thousands of new people storming the streets of Louisville. You put that on top of Bourbonism, where we've got our first ever 24-7 tourism experience. I mean, things are looking up in a big, big way for our convention and visitors uh, business here in our city, Stacy. I want to thank Grace Simrall and Chris Seit over here. Grace is our chief innovation officer, the best in the country. Chris runs our IT department. They worked Rebe with Rebecca and the team to make sure we were sourcing the very best product here and working with the best, the rest of the Metro team to make sure that they were constructed throughout the city. So one other thing I want to talk about. These kiosks also, each of them have a camera on them basically 24-7 camera that will be panning the entire area. So when you think about public safety and ways to enhance public safety in our downtown, these kiosks are an important part of that strategy. They're also an important part of people being connected as each of these are a Wi-Fi hotspot as well. So while it looks like a simple little box, it brings huge capacity to all the goals that we have going on in our city. So Rebecca Matheny, thank you. She's 
drove this project. She wanted to get 10 of these in place before the Kentucky Derby happened here in 18 days in our city. So I really appreciate that sense of urgency and look forward to many, many of them coming as well. And to the whole Smart City Media team, Tom Touche and team, thank you guys so much for being part of this great rollout here today. Great job, guys. Um, in just a minute, I'm going to hand it over to Smart City Media, Tom Touche and Mike Mainthau, who've been absolutely fantastic to work with, and all, all of their team, a number of whom are here. Also wanted to thank Duke Energy One, who've been doing the installation, and they've been really terrific and uh, great stewards of our downtown public right-of-way, and we, we really do appreciate their effort. So I'm going to hand it over to Tom and Mike. Thank you. So Mike will try and do a little demo as I just say uh, hello and thank you and uh, make this promise. The mayor said we are the best, we claim to be the best. I can promise you this, we will get better with interaction with the community. Uh, this will be better in a month, it'll be better than that in six months, it'll be better than that in a year. Our whole job is really to bring the best of Louisville out and that is really determined by what Louisville needs and those needs change all the time. So what we've built is something that starts, and today it's kind of its birthday, and we're all the parents, and we're gonna, we're gonna grow together, uh, and Mike will show you what our start point is, but I can tell you the start point um, is, is a beautiful baby, it will be much more beautiful as a toddler, much, much more beautiful as a teenager, maybe not as a teenager, um, but then as an adult, you will all be very, very proud of this. So thank you to all the partners that we have here. The city has been fantastic, LDP has been fantastic, um, uh, Louisville Public, Public Media has been fantastic. Uh, Duke is the best partner we could ask for. So we are very excited to grow something that will be super, you will all be super proud of. Mike, you want to take a quick tour? Give him a scream, I don't have a mic. <laughs> uh, I'm going to give you a very brief uh, demo of what the screen is capable of. After my brief demo, it's open for the public. So what you see is these are 55 inch screens. It's a 10 second image. It's all great content from the city. Uh, it could be restaurants, attractions, etc. And for every 10 seconds, it will rotate. So let's go down and explore. So we want to touch for more. We have a series of apps, and any visitor or local wants to see what restaurants are in the area, so it gives a list. It's going to act just like your phone. It's going to scroll, and you touch the restaurant. It's going to give you information of that venue, and if you want to share it, you can with a friend, uh, or if you want to save it to your phone, and here are all your um, reviews, and you want to find out how to get there. It's going to give you your directions in the touch of the finger, and then you want to Send it to your phone, so if the directions are a little tough, you'll have it on your phone and you'll, you'll find your way there. Um, we also have a great partner in Do 502, so they're publishing the events. So this is all Do 502 attractions, and again, all the information that we just went through. Um, we have a wayfinding button, and this is all wayfinding. You want to find out this is where you are, what's in the area. It's going to give you all the information again. Now, if you want to find out restaurants in the area, it's now going to reduce all the wayfinding to just restaurants, and it'll give you all the same information. There's transit information that if you want to get from point A to point B, gives you the full information how to get there, either walking, by bus, etc. Um, and then our favorite is the conversion to multilingual we met with uh, the Downtown Louisville Partnership and decided what languages are important to start out with. And here's the, uh, so just to show you that it really does work, that's, anyone can speak Hindi, that's, uh, that's your prototype. And then when you go deeper, it, it translates down. So that is, and as Tom said, this is gonna continue to evolve. This is day one where we wanna start and the network will keep getting more and more, more and more robust. And uh, we're going to be launching a companion mobile app to this. So 
everyone can get on the City Post Network, the Louisville City Post Network, whenever and wherever. So we're excited to be here with you guys. Everyone's been a great partner here. So thank you very much. Thanks again to Smart City for this wonderful, wonderful project. Thanks to everybody for coming. We really have appreciated your time and energy, and go play with our new toy. This has been a Metro TV production, a public service of Louisville Metro Government.